Welcome back to Warframe, guys. I told you we're doing Frost Prime next, so here we are. Uh, Frost Prime. And yes, this is the heirloom skin. Yes, I shilled out. No, I don't want your judgment. It's a cool-looking skin, and I love it. Anyways, let's start off with the abilities, as we normally do. But let's actually be smart here this time and show all the abilities. I said show all the abilities. Thank you. And let's look at all of Frost Prime's abilities. Starting with his newly obtained passive and all the other differences that he got with this newest update, which is the main reason why we are making this. And the passive is cold status effects from frost abilities have the duration increased by 100%. He gains 50 armor per enemy afflicted with cold status within 15 meters, so cold is a fantastic idea to put on frost. And before we get too deep into here, I have to do my little call to action thing. If you're, you know, if you're seeing more than one of my videos, all right, and you're liking them, but you're not subscribing, you should also subscribe. And if you're subscribing and not liking, you should like and if you're doing both of them you should also hit that bell notification if you're doing all that you should just give me millions of dollars because clearly it'll be worth it eh, only if, it if only it were that easy no you guys get the so like subscribe do all that jazz anyways his second ability is ice wave it's a little cone based ability it's okay it's not the best ability it ain't the worst ability snow globe which is you know got buffed you can now shoot inside of it and it's got you know area damage huh that's new interesting neat and then avalanche which is you know his main ability hit for armor reduction feels good my personal build how i run them dreamers bond rush precision intensify icy avalanche transient fortitude fighting frost auger reach stretch umbral vitality prime flow couple changes you can make as I my body's dying I guess freeze force is pretty good especially because of the new passive chilling globe pretty good as well especially with the new passive but I've got armor and two tau forge shards on for that casting speed the main thing that makes frost good right if we just you know shoot down this line it's, it, I mean, it's pretty powerful. We freeze them, though. Doesn't stand a chance. His main trick, for me at least, is his four, his avalanche. Sure, you have your freeze, you have your ice wave, you have ice wave, and you have snow globe, which, thank God, you can finally shoot through. Took him long enough. But, with that being said, let's hop into Mott. And also, let's bully DE into giving us an augment for Snow Globe that makes it to where you're like an Ice Eximus. It follows you around. I think that would be cool. Do it, DE. I'll see you in Mott. All right, you guys you guys get the gist by this point, right? Like, we hop into Mott, we do a quick five minutes of rivals, we'll show off the Warframe, show off the abilities. Well, we kind of just chat about the Warframe. Now, this Warframe, Frost, one of the first Warframes created in the game, we have a lot to go off of. One, uh, holy hell has this update done him some justice with the changes to cold and the crit chance or the crit damage changes to cold. The fact that he gains armor for frozen enemies is a little bonkers. His passive has always been garbage. So them changing the passive is pretty sick. Him... And his abilities in general, does it deal damage? Okay, so that's what damage it was talking about on the screen. It's the AoE damage. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Used to not say that at damage number, so that's why I was so confused. Right? Clearly, it's something else at this point, though. As I got completely distracted by the fact of figuring out what the area damage of the snowball was. Still causes cold statuses, though, which is pretty baller. Right? And, of course, you know, depending on your build, different things can go on. Like, Bifrost has some pistol augment or arcane on. We'll look at the arcanes and whatnot and talk about different builds and ideas just as I'm playing through here once we get out of here as a little ending treat. And, of course, don't forget to ask or leave suggestions of new Warframes. I think currently we have Saren on the list of suggested Warframes and a few others. 
I know people were saying don't do Nyx or Trinity because apparently they're getting a light rework when 1999 comes, so we're not going to do them. Because I'm not going to do, you know, Trinity and Nyx for them to get reworked and for all my time to, you know, be wasted. That doesn't sound like too enjoyable time to me. And there's my Archegatsimus. I really, really wish that they had a snow globe on it that gives you that power. But I guess Overguard's pretty good too. Um. But as you can see, I mean, like, he's pretty, pretty busted. Like, you can see the difference in my crit chance when I freeze him, right? That's, Frost is a very easy Warframe to show off in the fact of power level, as it's not like he's, you can see the damage number change when I freeze him. With Ureli, it's like, oh, cool, you know, you can see the damage number change, but it's not something where, like, the color of the damage number changes. Well, with Frost, it's like, the crit chance, it rolls me over into the chance of getting red crits. And don't even talk to me about when it's an incarnate form. It's mainly red crits. Uh, so it's a lot easier for me to showcase, like, power of Frost. It helps that, you know, he does freeze pretty well. He's a very, very powerful Warframe. And after this rework, quote-unquote rework. I'm going to call it a quote-unquote rework because it's really not a full rework. It's he got buffed, essentially. Inadvertently. Inadvertently, I guess. Or advertently. Uh, as his pass was changed, but the cold changes inadvertently buffed him while they also did purposeful buffs. Like, his passive changing. Thank Christ, his passive sucked. So, you have that. He's now even more of a tanky warframe. Which is a little ridiculous. So, you've got you know, your ice warframes buffed, your water warframes are buffed, but we gotta get to Ember. Ember's gotta get buffed. Fire Warframe needs a buff. I could do an Ember Prime. What? Prime guy. Yeah. Could do that, couldn't I? Uh, as you can tell, I kinda just go on the deep end, right? As I play, I talk about the game. And if you're into that more, more or less, less structured game videos like I know what I'm here to do I'm here to show off frost and that's all cool. but you know the conversations are always a little different hey I'm gonna ask it again like and subscribe you enjoy it here you get the best of both worlds you get you know you get a guide you get to know how the build works you get to see how I play it and also me showcasing all the abilities that I currently have on Frost. Uh, you get to see an Acolyte fight, and then you get me talking about the Warframe. If the Acolyte would spawn... You're not an Acolyte, for. I'm sorry, I don't need you. Uh, I'm looking for the Acolyte, please. Buddy. Also, one thing that you may have noticed is I have 100% armor strip on my frost. There's the acolyte. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Come on, Vor, where were ya? There you are. Bye bye, Vor. I don't know what's keeping you alive so effectively, Vor, but I do not appreciate it. Alright. Well, you saw the damage. Granted, the melee thing was. It's, it was malice. It was either I melee him or I'm gonna get one. Kill, kill myself on it. Alright. So I'll see you guys back in the orbiter. We'll talk about that failed potential. And let's just talk Frost Prime.
All right, let's talk builds. So here's my main build, right? And we'll talk Minted Arcane Precision. We've already, this is what you got to witness. This is mainly for my four, is what it is. It's pretty good. I have one issue. This is your thing very much. Ah! Is duration, but, or not duration, efficiency. 100 energy is a lot, especially on Frost, who only has, you know, 427. But it's fine. Whatever. Let's look at, you know, let's go for a stock build real quick. Let's make one real quick. Let's just run, run it through here with my 10 formas. Don't worry about it. It was an idea and then it got swapped to another Warframe. So, I like Dreamer's Brond. It is what it is. Augments, realistically, you can use whatever augments you like. I like Biting Frost and Icy Avalanche. I'm going to spice it up a little bit. I'm going to throw feet, Freeze Force over one of those. We are going to throw Umbel and Intensify because we don't need Vitality because we have Biting Frost. In fact, actually, we don't need Vitality, so... It's going to be changed out after the end of this video. Anyways, uh, we don't need Vitality because we have that. We have Multi-Augmented Arcane Blessing. Mint. We don't really need Arcane Blessing granted, so, you know, let's just swap it out for... Yeah, I mean, like, Arcane Engine, Arcane Energize is good, Arcane Grace is good, Avenger's pretty nice. I'm gonna go with Avenger just so all my weapons red crit, or at least for the majority of them, it'll red crit. Let's do that. That sounds pretty dope. Let's go here, not kill. Efficiency. Let's, uh, let's throw on some good old that. Let's throw on Blind Yeah, no. No, actually, I don't want Blind Ridge. Um... So that'll give us duration, efficiency, range. Range is what I need. So stretch right there is pretty good. That'll give us that little more range just so we freeze more people. And realistically, if I really wanted to, right? Duration's not that important. Go here, go to strength. We could do precision intensify. I'm in normal. I'm in um, uh, transient fortitude. 209% strength. That now does 125% armor reduction. Solved. Or, if I wanted to be spicy, that, 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 which will bring that up to 128. And then we have another this free slot roaming around. And, you know, let's, well, maybe we should probably, we should probably have Prime Flow on that. That's the build. You can change out the augments for whatever you like. I would highly recommend Icy Avalanche or Binding Frost. It's just really good. I think I want again. But those are just really good augments in general. Freeze Force, pretty good augment. But I hope you guys enjoyed. This is the build. Hold on, sorry. I, I forgot one thing. Uh, Rush because Zoomies. This is the build. I hope you guys enjoyed. Try this build out. Tell me how it goes. Yeah. I'm not even going to try this build. I'm going to go back to Pistol Gopher and try it and fix it. This is going to be my build. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that jazz. Tell me how this build goes. Recommend some more Warframes. I think next one might be Saren Prime because I think that's who I've seen suggested the most. Or at least that's the most predominant one inside my head right now. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is... I'll see you in the next one.